Hello guys, it's Tim with another beef adventure. We're over here at the Oxbow Market in Napa Valley. We're at the $5 Ranch where you pick your own meat and they grill it for you. Anyways, we're going to be trying the 60 day dry age ribeye. Hope you guys enjoy the show. So, a little bit of a beef adventure in Napa. We're trying a bone-in ribeye at this place called Five Dot Ranch. Um, it's a 60-day age bone-in, so we're actually kind of expecting a lot from it. We ordered it. We both ordered it. Medium rare. Here's Mongo. Hey, Mongo. <laughs> so. We're gonna see if it measures up. Okay, beef adventures. Oh, beef adventures. So, Christy, question for you. As far as like beef adventures that we've had in the past, uh, what would you say was probably your best beef experience right now so far? The Wagyu beef. The Wagyu beef was a really good one. It was probably a, maybe a inch and a half cut Wagyu, perfectly seared by moi, with only sea salt, with only sea salt, nothing else. And it was absolutely perfect. Only about, maybe it was about a minute on one side. Not even a minute on one side, and then maybe like 20 seconds on the rest of the sides, perfectly cooked. Um, since then we've had uh, uh, flap steaks, not flap steaks, no, 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 no. ribeye cap, ribeye cap, and it's actually been really good. So we're actually gonna, we've tried bone and ribeyes, we've tried the tomahawk steaks, and um, we're just interested in seeing what Napa has to offer here. <laughs> look pretty amazing we have a side of Brussels sparks and everything and we're gonna try this out and see how it tastes all right and we'll get back to you with our judgment yeah so kind of in the middle of the process here and uh, we're trying the uh, we're trying this yeah, bone and ribeye it's a 60 age day bone and rib. I haven't ever tried anything that age. Uh, 29 was probably the most age that I've ever tried before this. Um, the taste is actually pretty good. Um, it's cooked a little bit more well done than what we're used to. We're <laughs> when you cook steaks yourself, you can kind of like customize it however you want. But um, overall, this is actually a decent tasting ribeye. Okay, here, here we are, and um, halfway through this, or actually almost done with this beef experience that we've had here in Napa. We're at the Five Dot Ranch. Um, I don't know what you call, it, what do you want to call it, butchery, where they you pick out your beef and then they grill it for you. It's over a gas grill, so uh, there's a, a few things that you gotta take into consideration when you're trying to judge these things. Of course, we've been uh, grilling on, uh, been grilling on charcoal grill. So um, it gives a little bit of a uh, different flavor every time and suppose, of course they have a special um, seasoning that I always put on all my steaks and everything so that kind of gives a little special thing on as well. Um, the only thing that they put in it, they do have this uh, amazing beef butter that they put on their um, steaks as well as uh, a little bit of um, white salt or sea salt, they said, sea salt and pepper. Um, yeah. Judging a 60 day rib ribeye. Uh -huh. I'll say that this is a pretty great steak. Um, I don't wanna, I don't wanna 
I don't want to put down any any other place, but um, I gotta say, <laughs> you can't beat what you can cook at home. You can't beat what you can cook at home. So um, yeah, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna uh, compare this to the tomahawk steak that we had a couple weeks ago, uh, uh, maybe a month and a half ago, I would say that the tomahawk steak actually is a a bit better. Even though it wasn't dry aged um, for 60 days, it was straight out of the, it was a Costco, Costco ribeye, Tom Hawk's Day. I gotta say that that tasted, it ranked a little bit more than this steak was. So I'm just trying to be honest with my opinion and everything. And um, I actually want to kind of get an opinion from uh, Mongo here. What does Mongo yeah, say? <laughs> what does Mongo say about this meat here, though? It lacks seasoning, salt. It is salt. It's beefy. It's beefy. Good beefy. But it lacks the beef luster. Oh man, you're just trying to butter me up. No. I think she wants me to cook a little more. <laughs> yep. So there you have it. Five out ranch here. Uh, bone and ribeye. 60 day dry age. That's what we got here. So uh, it's a good it's a good meal. I guess see if you can do better. Yeah. <laughs>